what's up everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on the video i am danielle your level up partner in crime and this is relentless beauty because we are what in relentless pursuit of self-improvement so this is a little vlog video something different um this was my first trip to aldi and i have to say i am impressed what you are bearing witness to is just under three hundred dollars worth of food when we got to the checkout and it was like 290 something i was shocked because we filled that cart up to the brim y'all and i'm like really that's it so yeah i'm impressed so here i am showing y'all my breakfast my aldi breakfast my aldi lunch and my aldi dinner so I'm just going to chop up some strawberries for y'all. And I'm going to let y'all get a little bit of, you know, ASMR action going on. You know, a little chop chop sound. So I'm going to stop talking and let you enjoy the video. So for my breakfast, I decided to make a veggie omelet. I always feel healthy and I feel like I'm doing good things for my body when I incorporate fresh fruits and vegetables in my diet. So I've been trying to do that here lately. Yeah, I know adobo isn't the <laughs> healthiest thing, but listen, I need some flavor. At least we got the fresh veggies going. I'm also going to make me a strawberry banana and pineapple smoothie and have a banana nut muffin so here is my breakfast simple salt and pepper in the eggs that's it i don't like anything else in my eggs my husband sometimes be slipping garlic powder in there it's like why why did you do this why'd you do it <laughs> no salt and pepper I decided to put a little bit of honey up in my smoothie because that almond milk isn't the sweetest which is not a bad thing mind you but I've gotten used to silk almond milk so I like my smoothie a little bit on the sweet side <laughs> and breakfast is served 
So I decided to have a light lunch, some crackers, a cheese danish. I know that's not light, but still. <laughs> some crackers, some cheese spread, a cheese danish, and these cute little chicken salad cups. I've never seen that before, so I had to pick them up. Now, I did add some dried cranberries to the top. It's good without it, but I still wanted to add that. And a smoothie. And finally, my Aldi dinner. If you can hear my kids in the background, I apologize. I am in my room with the door shut, but hey, you probably can still hear them. So here I blanched the fresh green beans in some salted water. And then before I put them in the pan, I seasoned them up in the pot with garlic powder and salt pepper. Um, and then sauteed them in the frying pan, basically. Got some brown and stir rolls. Here are the green beans that I'm sauteing. This was my first time making green beans like this, y'all, and they came out so good. And here's this little butter concoction with thyme that I made so I could put on the brown and stir rolls. Try to be a little fancy, you know what I'm saying? Add a little bit of flavor. It didn't add that much flavor. But they looked pretty. And here's my oil and butter for the shrimp, the swimps. Okay, as Bernie Mac would say. Here are my seasonings, real simple. I am a salt, pepper, and garlic powder girl. And then when it comes to, you know, seafood, I, I like to add the little Old Bay. But I really like to keep my flavors simple. So here the shrimp are cooking. I'm cooking two different pastas here, y'all, but luckily they both only took eight minutes to cook, so I didn't run into any issues. So make sure if you do this, <laughs> the pastas that you are cooking, cook in the same amount of time or it's going to be a problem. So here I'm adding my Alfredo sauce. Now, I normally like to get Alfredo sauce that either comes in the packet and you got to mix it up or I just make it myself because Alfredo sauce in the jar be having a little, you know, aftertaste to it. So that's why I added this black pepper here, y'all. And that did help. So there really wasn't much of an aftertaste. So here is the final result. Some shrimp pasta, sauteed green beans, rolls, and I was able to make enough for the whole family, all seven of us, honey. So that was my first trip to Aldi, y'all, and the breakfast, lunch, and dinner I made. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!